from. That's a better one. That's a good tog. All day, let's go. That's a fish. That's a good fish, dude. <laughs> dude, that's my first tog, Dylan. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh, it's a keeper. First keeper! Let's go! Finally stuck a keeper. All right, well, what is up, guys? Welcome back. We are here on the rocks. This is actually a jetty I have never before fished, but the conditions today lined up so perfectly, I just had to take advantage of it. Right behind me, you can see the ocean is literally a lake. We have 20 mile an hour offshore winds, zero swell. As a surfer, I mean, it kind of hurts to check the forecast and see zero to maybe half foot high waves. But as a fisherman, I mean, there's nothing better. Gorgeous, gorgeous fall day out here. And the fall fishing is in full swing. We're gonna be doing some serious tog in a day. Just picked up two dozen Primo green crabs from Riptide Bait and Tackle. You guys are in the area, check them out. Andy hooked me up with some Primo crabs. Live as ever, got pinched like eight times while picking them out. I'm gonna throw the GoPro on my head, put some crabs on my hook, drop down with the jig, and hopefully start slaying guys. So just stay tuned. There we are, we're on, we're on, we're on. Let's go. Oh my God, really? <laughs> that guy's so small. It's not much, but it's honest work. The first tog of the day is this tiny little four incher right there. There are some bigger fish down there, but the bite is actually pretty slow today so far. I'm hoping to build the life up over the next couple minutes. Just keep dropping down, see what we can do over here. So stay tuned. All right, so first tog down. There definitely are some bigger fish down here. It's just gonna take a while to weed through them, I guess. So, just hoping to build that bite. A lot of times when you get here, the bite's not that fantastic, but once these togs start getting, start getting the smell of some crabs down there, they turn on. Oh, I just had one on right there. So yeah, bite might be heating up already. Just as we land the first one, a small four-incher. There's definitely got to be some bigger ones down there, but the water temperature is still kind of warm for this time of year. So it may just take a little bit more time to weed through the shorts to find that single keeper. Oh my God, dude, what the hell is wrong with me? Jesus, I suck. So guys, we are definitely building life here now. I've, I'm getting bit literally as soon as I hit the bottom all small fish mostly still no monsters yet but we're definitely building that life as soon as we get to the bottom that's a better one that's a good tog all day let's go there we go that's a proper tog there we are guys literally couldn't have called it any better just as I said I was building life just eight inches we land this decent probably nine inch smoke the jig as soon as I hit the bottom too this is why I love tog fishing just gotta wait that extra minute. The Holy Father John Skinner watched his talk video earlier today up in Rhode Island. He said 20, 30 minutes is normally how long it takes to build a bite, if not move on. And there we are. 
We're getting bit now. Now we just gotta find that keeper and keep getting those numbers up. Thanks for playing, bud. We're gonna throw another greenie and get right back down there. As soon as we get to the bottom, dude, just getting pounded. Awesome. Dude, it's like ridiculous. Almost just lost my phone. That may be the catch of the friggin' century right there. Holy crap. Wow. That could have been a lot worse. I lost my phone last year on the jetty doing the same exact thing. So oh, I'm just happy that did not go into the rocks like it very, very well should have. All right, <laughs> I'm shaking. Let's drop back down. Try to get a keeper tog. Well guys, completely just missed that catch right there. Just stuck a decent nine incher right there. Literally the most random hook set ever. I just felt a bite and I was getting I was getting a little mad. So I just yanked the hook and I stuck this guy right in the corner of the mouth too. Maybe a 12 incher right there. We'll send him back. There he goes. So the bite is definitely on already. That's a fish. That's a good fish, dude. Oh my God, if I lose another freaking tog, that was another good fish. Are you kidding me? Just freaking missed the biggest fish of the day by far. We're on, we're on, we're on. That's a good fish. There we go. He was in the rocks. Not as good as I thought. There we go, though. Woo! <laughs> there we go, baby. Another, like, 10 inch right there. Guy just crushed it right away. That marks number four so far. Fish keep getting bigger. The bite's turning on. I'm feeling pretty optimistic. I still have plenty of crabs left, plenty of time. I'm just feeling pretty good right now. Let's get some more. Every drop, drop and reel. The bite is absolutely smoking hot right now. Oh, there's no way. There we are, we're on. We're on. Could be a good tog, could be in the rocks. We will see. Feels decent. Feels snagged. Oh my God, he's still on. <laughs> Here we go, dude. Epic. There we go, we're on, we're on. Come on, stay on. He's in the rocks heavy. Let's go, come on out. Come on, please be a keeper. Please be a keeper. Oh, I don't think I'll make it bigger though, for sure. Oh, you know what, dude? He is literally, all right, 14 and a half, not quite a keeper, but it's a lot bigger than I thought he was. I thought he was like 12. See you, dude. All right, that is a good sign. We literally have like just a couple crabs left. So really hoping we can eke something out over here in the last couple minutes. Oh, dude, right away. We're on, we're on, got him, got him, not a keeper. 
boy a keeper. A little eight inch right there. All right. All right, Mr. Tog. See ya. We're on. We're on. Let's go. Oh. Get in there. Still not a keeper. Little eight inch right there. Not too bad. Getting the numbers. Just not the size. My bad on the release. Ugh. FaceTime PJ Mecca. All right, folks, the bad news is I'm out of crabs. Finished off on a high note catching some numbers, but my friend PJ is about to come to the jetty in hopefully 20 minutes with reinforcements, bringing a couple dozen greenies, some more jigs. So really looking for that keeper. Like I said, I'm starving out here. I'll, I'll sleep on the jetty if I have to, but I'm not leaving this jetty without a keeper. Mark my words, or I'll just edit that part out. All right, hopefully 25 minutes, we'll be back to fishing. Ran through the crabs. Probably should have called for reinforcements a little earlier, but stay tuned. Never in the sand. So guys, decided to kill the time by throwing around this little spoon while we wait for the crabs to show up. Throwing on the tog rod, 40 pound leader, not the best setup, but it's been a lot of little bluefish around. See if we can get a couple. Oh, there we go. We're on. We're on. There he is. <laughs> Little snapper bluefish right there. Check that out. There we are. Little bluefish just to kill the time. See you, dude. <laughs> Reinforcements have arrived. <laughs> so PJ brought the crabs and the jigs. We also brought the... Uh, Lightning McQueen tackle box. <laughs> heavy, dude. Insane. So heavy. Lightning McQueen tackle box. Like 10 pounders all day now up this ready. <laughs> Done with the bluefish. Let's tie on some jigs. Get some crabs down there. Hopefully find that 15 incher. Hell yeah. Oh my God, just got crushed, dude. That was a monster. Like right there, and you just let it pull into the rocks. Come on. There you go. Let's go, baby. Oh my God. Oh yeah. <laughs> dude, that's my first talk, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. Nice job, dude. Oh my God. There oh we go. Oh my God. Dude, that's a keeper. Ah, uh, it's like 10 inches. Oh. Sick. Nice job. Oh. Oof. Wait. Brutal release. Brutal nice job, release. dude. First tog ever. Dude, I got it on the go. <laughs> Funny. All right, now let's get a keeper. Right, I gotta switch sides though, too, I think. Dude, look at that. Oh my god, that's a good fish. That's a keeper. That's a keeper, dude. That's a keeper all day. That's a keeper. Come on. Oh, it might be, dude. We're close. We're close. We'll measure him. That's a keeper, Dell. Oh, that's a keeper. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, 15 on the nose. Oh my God. I the monster with the killer tog. 15 inches on the nose. Literally, I've been out here for five hours. It's gone through like 800,000 crabs. One jig. Finally stuck a keeper. 15 exactly on the nose. Measured on the GoPro. So at least I can eat tonight. Yeah. I'm going to have tog with a side of green crabs. Save a little bit for breakfast. So here we go. That's my limit. Now we got to get PJ, his keeper. Got maybe half a dozen crabs left. The bite's hot. Had to go through a lot of shorts to get this keeper, but we did it. There we go, guys. Finally got my keeper. As you can see, it's not 12 o'clock anymore. I've been out here literally four hours for that one keeper. Had a 14 and a half a couple hours ago. Went through probably two, three dozen green crabs. It's just been, it's been a grind out here for that time. But PJ came in clutch with the greenies and the jig. Now I'll try to get him a keeper before we have to call it a day. You. That's a keeper. Is it? Oh, it's a keeper. First keeper! Let's go! All right, folks. So on that final note, that is going to be a wrap for this video here today. Great day. Huge shout out to PJ. Without him, literally, I would have not caught a keeper tog because I was out of crabs. And he would have not caught his first ever tog 
and his first ever keeper tog <laughs> all in one day so super sick day out here guys just jetty fun jetty fishing with uh with crabs didn't expect to catch dinner i mean it was a goal but always great when that plan comes together so walking off this jetty with a limit the monster <laughs> easy limit today on the jetty easy limit today on the jetty <laughs> We're going to be popping out of here. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. Never on the sand.